Hello class, welcome to Deliverable 2 part 4 um, Enabling virtual host So for this we are going to turn on our regular virtual machine Because now we can SSH into our server And then we're going to click on the server But instead of starting the server We're just going to start the server headless Which means it's going to start in the background Without opening a window Because we don't need the window open anymore So now I'm gonna, just going to go full screen over here Okay, perfect, so let's open a terminal, let's move it on the side, and let's log in to our server, which shouldn't be asking me for password, but that's fine. We'll troubleshoot that some other time. Now I'm gonna go to Firefox, but before I start with that configuration, I need to install VS Code because I'm gonna use it briefly here in this virtual machine and I don't have it installed. So just give me one second so we can do uh, install. Yeah. I guess I don't have my <clears throat> alias as installed in this VM. Okay. Done. Let's take care of that. Oh, okay, okay. So I am connected to my server, as you can see over here. And now we are gonna go to our to the website for the course and go to final project. And this is the moment in the tutorial where we are gonna use a lot of the information that DigitalOcean has in this tutorial over here. Uh, because it's just gonna be much faster for us to copy and paste a bunch of the um, configuration. Now, in the first deliverable, you already read this document and are familiar with the steps here, or at least what these steps mean, but now we're gonna execute them, right? So the first thing we need to do is create a name for our project, right? Um, so we're gonna create a folder in the www directory, where, right where the HTML directory is located. And because this is protected by root, we need to be we need to use sudo here. So we're gonna do sudo mkdir var www, and this is where you should name your project. Um, I say I say let's call this my website. So we're gonna do my under. Oh, sorry, no, 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 cancel that. My uh, sorry, just gonna call it website, you know, just to keep it simple again. This is a proof of concept, but you can use any other name here. Just keep in mind that's the name of your project, the name of your domain. So I'm gonna press enter over here, and that's it. Now that we've done this, we need to adjust the permissions to this uh, folder. And the first command that we're gonna do is the change owner command so that instead of root owning this folder, is gonna be owned by our user, which is webmaster. So we're gonna do sudo change owner recursively and we're just gonna use the user environment variable and then we are gonna uh, set the folder which is var www and my case is gonna be called website press enter and then finally we're gonna adjust the permissions of the particular folder so that we can read write and execute but everybody else you know can't do rewrite and execute, they will only be able to read and write. Uh, so we're gonna do, sorry, execute and read. So now we are going to do change mod recursively 755 var www website. Done. Now the next part over here is creating an index page, right? We're gonna create a uh, just one simple HTML page and we're gonna put it inside the website directory so I'm gonna open nano sudo nano var www website index.html now leave that open we're gonna uh, now open VS Code And there is an extension that we're going to install here. So we're gonna to go to extensions and we are going to call this Bootstrap 5 Quick. Uh, what are you? 
right here bootstrap 5 quick snippets so just click on install right now over here we're gonna create a new fly a new file if you have a folder open that's fine you can just create the file over there that doesn't really matter uh, because this is this file doesn't matter we just need uh, the template that's all we need so I'm gonna save this in home again if you have already another folder open over there it's not really gonna matter you know so we're gonna call this index.html and we're gonna type b5 and then press enter that's it b5 let's go back b5 b5 and you see that first starter template that appears over there press enter and that's it click on save right now there are a couple of things we're going to change over here so you see where it says title we're going to change this to my first website right and then here where it says what are we we have the head tag great and we have the body tag and yeah that's fine if you want to um, add some HTML here that's fine for example right here I am going to put an h1 tag and I'm just gonna call this my first website right and then I'm gonna put a horizontal line there so just HR and then finally I'm gonna put a paragraph tag and I'm just gonna fill it up with lorem text you know just dummy text and we are going to format this document we're gonna save the file and I'm gonna do control A to select all the text copy and then I'm gonna paste it in nano over here so I'm gonna do paste and then I'm gonna save this file so we're gonna do control O for save enter and control X to exit now we have a very basic rudimentary in the that HTML file file uh, uh, file over there that's all we need so let's continue again you can also copy paste this if you want I just you know wanted to get a little bit ahead of the game so now over here we need to enable this site and for that we're gonna use nano again so we're gonna do sudo nano and we're gonna go to Etsy Apache 2 and then sites available sites available and then here we're gonna put the name of our domain our domain is called website in my case and then that conf because this is gonna be a simple configuration file press enter and we can just copy this here and paste that right up here control shift control shift and V as in Victor to paste and we're gonna change a couple of things here so where it says your domain we're gonna put the name of our project which is website and then here where it says www or domain is gonna be www.website and then over here is gonna be the location of the root directory for our project which is website so now we are gonna do control O enter and control X okay next we are going to enable our site so we're gonna do sudo a to end site and if you tap twice you're gonna see that you have here three domains what we're going to enable is website sorry three 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 files what we're gonna use is the one that we just created press enter and it should say that your website is uh, enabled but you need to reload Apache 2 uh, before we reload Apache 2 we're gonna def we're gonna disable the default um, uh, the default page the HTML we're gonna def the, you know we're gonna disable that because we're creating a virtual house there is no point of keeping the other one over there so we're gonna do sudo a to this site 000, zero, zero default enter so then we need to reload right so now we're gonna do sudo system ctl reload Apache 2 now that we have reloaded we're gonna do a configuration test we're gonna do sudo Apache to control config test now this little error over here it's quite easy to solve you know we just need to add one line to, uh, to one config file and the config file is called Apache to config so we're gonna do sudo nano and then we're gonna go to 
Etsy, Apache, and then Apache config. Over here, we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom of this document, and then we're gonna add the line. There you go. Server name, and then 127.0.0.1. And that's it. We are going to, oops, sorry. That one. Uh, da, 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 da. I always think I'm using Vim when I'm using Nano. There you go. Server name 127.0.0.1. Save it. Exit. And now we're going to do another config test. And notice that we receive syntax OK because that has been saved already. Now we need to restart Apache. So we're just going to modify this command over here to say restart. Now that we have restarted Apache, we can go to our domain. So if you type here the IP address of your server, now you should see something like this, right? That's the template that I that I use. It's some garbage HTML. But don't worry, we're going to modify that later on. But no longer you see the Apache um, the Apache default page that you always see after installing Apache. Great. So now that we have done this part of here, you know, I suggest you, you know, read this again one more time, you know, but if you want, you can just move along to the next video. In the next video, we are going to be uh, talking a little bit about HTML, you know, what you can put on the side, you know, just giving you a couple of hints here and there. You know, we're just going to build a very basic site, a little bit of text, one or two pictures. That's that's it. You know, this is a proof of concept at the end of the day. And you will not be graded on HTML or CSS because this is not a web development course. Uh, with that said, we are going to now close this. We will exit our server. Actually, let's turn the server from here. Let's turn it off. Sudo tell init zero. Okay, the server is off. Now let's turn off Ubuntu as well. And we're gonna take a snapshot. So I'm gonna back over here, here, and then snapshot. Take, and we don't need to take a snapshot of our regular Ubuntu machine. We just need to take a snapshot of our server. So this is gonna be a snapshot number four enabled uh, virtual hosts. Click OK. And that's it. See you in the next one.